A week ago today, on Friday, August 30th, we lost maybe the most influential, important poet writing in the English language. His name was Seamus Heaney, the great Irish poet. I've been watching a few videos, but perhaps not enough to adequately judge, but I haven't seen anyone mention Heaney's work or his poetry or, or mention his passing in this little corner that we collectively share called Booktube. So what I wanted to do now was give a little bit about his life, his biographical information, uh, tell you a little bit about what he accomplished, and at the very end of the video, read one of his poems. Seamus Justin Heaney was born on April 13th, 1939, 74 years ago, in uh, a little town in County Londonderry in Northern Ireland by the name of Castle Dawson. In the mid-1960s, he started to write poetry very seriously, coming out with his first collection, Death of a Naturalist, in 1966. From 1981 to 1997, he was a professor at Harvard University, and he was Harvard University's poet-in-residence from 1988 to 2006. From the five-year period from 1989 to 1994, he was the professor of poetry at, at, Har at, at Oxford University, which is a very prestigious position that's awarded at five-year intervals. He won numerous prizes in poetry. You name it, he won it. He won the E.M. Forrester Award in 1975 the Penn Translation Prize in 1985, the Golden Wreath of Poetry in 2001, the T.S. Eliot Prize in 2006, and two Whitbread, two Whitbread Prizes in 1996 and then again in 1999. Maybe his most famous prize is the Nobel Prize for Literature that he won in 1995. Robert Lowell called him the most important Irish poet since Yeats. John Sutherland has called him the greatest poet of our age. And Robert Pinsky said that with his wonderful gift of eye and ear, Heaney has the gift of the storyteller. Some of his collections of poetry include uh, Death of the Naturalist, his first collection from 1966, Field Work, The Spirit Level, District and Circle, and Human Chain, which came out in 2010. He also uh, came out with a translation of Beowulf in 1999. And like I said, he passed away uh, a week ago today on August 30th, 2013, at the age of 74. So what I'm going to read for read from right now is Seamus Heaney's selected poems from 1966 to 1996 called Opened Ground. Uh, this has just a little bit, as, as most collections of selected poetry do, from uh, each one of his books of poetry. And what I want to read for you is the very first poem in this book. It's the first selection from Death of a Naturalist, and it's called Digging. Digging. Between my finger and my thumb, the squat pin rests, snug as a gun. Under my window, a clean rasping sound, when the spade sinks into gravelly ground, my father digging. I look down till his straining rump among the flower beds bends low, coming up twenty years away, stooping in rhythm through potato drills where he was digging. 
the coarse boot nestled on the lug, the shaft against the inside knee was levered firmly. He rooted out tall tops, buried the bright edge deep to scatter new potatoes that we picked, loving their cool hardness in our hands. By God, the old man could handle a spade, just like his old man. My grandfather cut more turf in a day than any other man on Tonner's bog. Once I carried him milk in a bottle, corked sloppily with paper. He straightened up to drink it, then fell to right away, nicking and slicing neatly, heaving sods over his shoulder, going down and down for the good turf, digging. The cold smell of potato mold, the squelch and slap of soggy peat, the curt cuts of an edge through living roots awaken in my mind. But I've no spade to follow men like them. Between my finger and my thumb, the squat pin rests. I'll dig with it. <laughs>